This video is on configuration management. Configuration management ultimately ensures all software and hardware assets are known and tracked at all times and they are set up properly. Configuration management has to be in place to ensure that when changes occur to a product during its development lifecycle, it allows for change control processes to occur through automation. First thing to note for configuration management is diagrams. There are multiple diagrams. Network and devices diagram shows you all the networking assets and end user devices and how they are all connected. They even have diagram of the building to document all power connections and where they have all the drops. Then we have the baseline configuration. A baseline is an agreed upon description of a product's attributes at a specific point in time. Assets needs to be configured to the baseline in order to ensure integrity. Check and update frequently to ensure everything are configured and up to date. Simply put, it is used as a reasonable comparison point. The company should review baseline configuration as often as they can. Next we have standard naming conventions, from ports to devices, from accounts to email addresses. There are standard naming conventions within the organizations. The most common places that you probably have seen them is when they sort out specific files, shared drives, or even server racks. When you have standard naming convention for IP address, it is called the Internet Protocol Schema. IP addresses set aside for all printers or IP addresses set aside for a specific group of users in the company. The IP address of the server is one of the most crucial parts of establishing a business IT system. Data must be kept private, but it must also be accessible to others such as compliance officers performing audits. So that's it for configuration management for the Security Plus 601 exam.